Are there any statements? The member for Fraser. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I first came to know Peter Van Ness on the doors of Parliament House. For those outside this building, doors is a bit of a strange ritual. You walk out the front of Parliament House to a press pack that asks you questions about any issue of the day. Pete Van Ness was the man asking the hardest questions. He'd often be on the fringes of the pre press pack and he'd be shouting, shouting through at you, not about what was on the front page of the paper necessarily, but about what he thought was the most important. He'd been diagnosed with cancer in 2009, given a few months to live, nearly made it to three years. And so in that time, as he worked as a journalist, I think Pete knew that his life was short and he needed to do what he could to make it count. His questions were punchy, penetrating and straight to the point, as the best journalists are. Remember he said to me after, after one uh, particularly bruising Doors session, this place has lost its spontaneity. He said Doors used to be about the opening of the car doors, now it's about the opening of the parliamentary doors. All I could reply was, well Peter, if I'm coming out here to face your questions, I want to be a bit prepared. I uh, talked to Pete about this uh, when I went to see him in the Calvary Hospice towards the end of his life. I'm not sure how much he understood he was going in and out of sleep at the time. Uh, with him, the little blue teddy bear and the crucifix that he would hold in his bed. And so, as you do in these circumstances, I just, uh, I just talked and uh, told him about how much he'd influenced me uh, in the short time we'd known one another. And it was a short innings. Uh, Peter Van Ness passed away aged 27, uh, far too young for anyone to be taken from us. But his funeral was a, a fitting send-off. Uh, AAP journalist Adam Gartrell uh, spoke about uh, Peter's embodying the best of the craft of jour journalism. He told the story of uh, Peter Van Ness writing a, a, a yarn that Peter Van Ness thought was the best one he'd ever, ever written about a farmer doing it tough. And the only reason he got the story was by striking up a conversation with a random guy in a pub in the bush. Gartrell said that was pure Pete. He may have written about elections, political spills and scandals, but writing about the plight of the common man was what really made his heart sing. We heard from his late wife, Beck Vaness, who with extraordinary strength uh, spoke about, uh, gently scolded Pete for having to fail to, uh, to prepare some words uh, and, uh, and said, cancer didn't beat him, he kicked its ass every day for nearly three years. Uh, Warwick Newell told a uh, splendid story uh, of one of his big nights out with Pete. Uh, he said, uh, quote, I lost Pete after a big night out. He called me a few hours later from a bus in Bankstown in a frenzied and unexplained search for Paul Keating. Uh, and all of us erupted into, into laughter. Uh, and that was the, uh, one of the many sides uh, to, to Pete Finesse. Uh, the, the service itself uh, finished in the most poignant of ways with the parliamentary press gallery forming a guard of honour uh, from the door of the church uh, through to the, uh, the gate at St John's. Uh, it was all the more poignant because on the back of the program you can see a picture of Pete and Beck coming out of the very door of the church just a few years earlier uh, at their marriage. Uh, one of my favourite obituaries of Pete Vaness uh, was that of Chris Johnson, a uh, Canberra Times journalist uh, who really got to know Pete because they were in adjacent offices in the press gallery uh, and uh, both uh, inveterate music lovers. Uh, Chris wrote in his uh, obituary uh, that uh, Pete Van Ness was a larrikin's larrikin by any reckon reckoning, loud and boisterous, yet with a heart as big as his cheeky grin. He told the story of, uh, of Pete, who appeared to me uh, an extremely confident journalist, once confiding in Chris uh, and saying, you know what a big deal it is for me to be in this gallery? I'd better not stuff it up. But you never got that sense of fragility from Pete Van Ness. You got a sense of somebody uh, who had earned his right to be here 
uh, and who did his job uh, in, the, uh, in the best spirit of the press gallery. Uh, Chris disclosed that uh, uh, Peter Van Ness sometimes uh, wrote uh, music reviews under a pseudonym, uh, the name Sal, uh, Sal Caulfield, uh, combining Sal Paradise from On the Road and Holden Caulfield from Catcher on the Rye. And so that, of course, sent me on a hunt for, uh, for some of the reviews written by Sal Caulfield. And you actually see some of the best of Pete Vanessa's writing. Uh, here he is in the Canberra Times on the 8th of May 2008, writing under his pseudonym about a, uh, um, an album uh, by, uh, uh, by Cog, Sharing Space. Producer Sylvia Massey left plenty of air among the almost apocalyptic ele electronic twitches that dart around Flynn Gower's pleading, pounding voice in the verses. The air evaporates when the chorus arrives, pushing the listener back with a sheer volume and urging the ear forward in anticipation at the same moment. It's beautiful, beautiful writing, and uh, another, another reason that uh, uh, I think so many of us are so sad uh, that Pete isn't there to, uh, to contribute to the great craft of journalism for many decades yet. Uh, he worked to the end. He uh, uh, wrote for uh, AAP uh, the story of... Uh, uh, Captain Bryce Duffy, Corporal Al Ashley Burt and Lance Corporal Luke Gavin uh, being killed in Afghanistan uh, as recently as the 3rd of November last year. Uh, he wanted to, to keep on working to the end uh, and he did and continued to make a great contribution. Uh, my friend Peter Martin reminds me that uh, uh, one of the things that some of the tributes to Peter Van have passed over uh, is how devout he was. Uh, Peter, at the service, uh, read Psalm 23, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. And he pointed out to me that Peter Van Ness was the chair of St John's Council and he was studying theology part-time at St Mark's. Peter Martin suggested that in preparing these brief remarks I should speak to Margaret Campbell, the assistant minister at St John's. Uh, and I spoke to Margaret this morning and she uh, said that, that I should remind the House of what a man of great faith Peter Van Ness was, that he took great comfort in the promise of eternal life and he was there in the church every Sunday. Margaret Campbell said, Peter Van Ness challenged us uh, and we will really miss one of our own. Uh, I too will miss him. Doors will never be the same without him. Uh, and this place is a little poor, poorer for his passing.